Welcome back, everybody. Hey, welcome back, guys. We actually have a couple different theories. Um, do you want to try your theory first about the timing of it? Yeah, I mean, you can. All right, so you said it was like one, two, three, one, two, three, right? Yeah, that's kind of what it looks like when well, it's spinning around the, um, the clock face. And then with the five, it was one, two. No, it, it was the same spacing. It's just like you're going to do three, 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 five, three, five, five, three. So it's three, you know, three, three, five, three, three. No, three, 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 five, three, five, five, three. Okay, so let's try. I just wrote it down. So let's try that. Okay. Because it might be like, you know, we were lagging a little bit too much when I was giving you the numbers, and so, like... Um, okay, so that's not it. It doesn't actually give you, like, a, a ample amount of time for clicking. There's, like, a little bit of a lag between the ding of the bell. Mm. But let me try it again. Or you can try it in the other direction, from right to left. Because it really doesn't specify? No, it oh, doesn't. Okay. So let me try this way then. No, nope, that's not it either. Alright, so then let's try the... One, two, three. Then one, two, three. Four, five. One. One, two, three, four, five. Nope, that wasn't it either. Great. <laughs> oh, good. Because that actually made a melody. Doing the one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Like doing the three bells and doing the five bells and doing the three bells. Unless that's a puzzle for something else. No, that can't be. It has to be this one. Are you sure? But at what time was that clock? Huh? It was at 3 o'clock. No, it wasn't at 3 o'clock. It was at 12.15 is what that original clock shows, right? Your little pocket watch? No. It, it started at noon, and then it went, it then went to um, 12.15, and then, you know, goes down to 12.30, and then back to 12.15, 12.30. Hmm. And it just jumps between those, and then it whips around and does a full two circles, and then it goes back to tapping out the Morse code of the, the beat. Oh, I can actually click on and hold the, uh... I can actually pick up the pocket watch, but it doesn't do anything. Damn! I even tried it the other way to see if it was that way, too. <sighs> hmm. So what else do you have? In the house? Or wherever. Well, in the house where I'm at now, I just have to note that says I left you something downstairs. It'll be my greatest invention yet. Play our secret melody and I'll open the door. That's all I have in this, besides the bells. And I thought maybe that clock... I mean, that would make sense that the clock was the actual thing. I'm going to go back to the clock shop and see... Heading left, and I'm going to see if there's anything in here that I missed, maybe.
Can you actually go anywhere in the clock shop but scroll up or down? I can't. No. I just got a book of gemstones. The Hourology book. Got the lantern. I got another plant. I got the clock I only see half of. I got the bottom half of the clock. Uh, left or right side? Bottom. <laughs> oh, you have the whole bottom. I have the whole bottom, yes. I only have the seven and eight. Really? Visible in my... yeah. I've got the four, five, six, seven, eight, the nine and the three are completely cut evenly, and the minute mm -hmm. hand is bobbing between the eight and the nine. Can you click on the, uh, the, the three and the five? I'm clicking on the three, nothing. I'm clicking on the nine, nothing. Nothing of the it? clock is clickable. Okay. I the only thing that I can actually click on and look at is the portrait of, I'm gonna assume, Lark, because it's got the white raven on her left mm -hmm. shoulder and its head's facing left. Hmm. Yeah, I was wondering if you could, like, click on the numbers on the your clock since you have the three and the five visible there or the three and the six that's I, what it is i gave you the wrong fucking number it's dirt. a six isn't it fucking six okay let's go back to the house that's all right <laughs> so we'll substitute <laughs> a five for a six okay so we'll try it this cool. way Three 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 six three six six three. Come on, one, two. Okay, so that didn't work, so we'll go... Because I tried the whole thing again. So we'll do the threes here. Oops, shit, hit the wrong one. I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna come back in and start fresh. Oh, okay. yeah. One, two, three... And then... Six, six, three... Nope, that's not it. Okay, that's not it either. Um... Okay, yeah, that's not it either. <sighs> hmm... <laughs> Alright, let's try from the dining hall over, because that's where the Monstera plan is. Not it either. Oh, oh dear, no. Oh, that's not it. Hmm. Even though it is with the replacements of the six, it's still not doing it. Hmm. What to do? What to do? What to do with the body? <laughs> okay, so now that we've we did that, I going back to the Raven's Clock again. Yeah, I went back when it's open, and uh... actually, that's probably a good idea. Let's go back when it's open. Yeah, nothing changed for me. Let me look. 
All right, the books are gone. Oh my god, I have, um... It's now back to 345 again. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if I can click that. No, I cannot. I can't click on the box that says Lark on it. Back to the picture, nothing. Yeah, because it's definitely three, and it's hovering between the eight and the nine again. That's got to mean something. Can you move the, uh, the handsaw? I cannot. I wonder if I go forward a little bit more if that clock will change. With the shot. Because now it's four o'clock out here. Going back to here. It did change. The hand's now, it's now 445. I wonder if that, I wonder if that means anything. <laughs> what, um, uh, it just <sighs> changed by the hour? That's so what it looks, looks like, yeah, because the minute hand is still bouncing between the eight and the nine. Hmm. Did that change anything in yours? Nope. I don't have a... a clock hand in mine. Like, I don't even have a full 8 and a 7. Like, I just have that in the very upper corner of my screen. Okay, so nothing changed in the post office. Alright, I'm gonna go around until it is 6.45 and see what that does. Because it's now 5 o'clock outside. Anything change in the house? I'm just checking the house. All right, nothing changed in the house. So there's something up with this clock. Okay, it's now 5.45. Okay, and? Nothing. Helpful. It, oh, super helpful. The only thing that changed is the clock hand. That's it. Hmm. I wonder if I have to match your pocket watch. No, that wouldn't make sense. You won't be able to. Yeah. Because it only changed the hour hand. Yeah, I have nothing else to click on. Or... Okay, so it's now 6 o'clock. I'm going back into the Raven's clock, and it's now 6.45. So it seems to be whenever the clock outside, it's down by 45 minutes. So I'm going to go to 9 o'clock when it's closed. Okay. And see if that does anything. All right, so it's 7 o'clock. Ooh, that was weird. <laughs> anything different in here. Okay, so now it's 8.45. One more time. Mm. 9 o'clock. It should be closed. Alright, closed. I'm going in. Cool. Alright, just have the hourology and the gemstones again. Nothing. Hopeful. Alright. Oh. So that blows that idea out of the water. I think it's at 10 o'clock, so there has to be something with that code. Uh, oh, no, that wasn't one. I was like, I wonder if that's our code to get the train. But it is not, because it's just going to the left and going down. No, yeah, you're right. Unless that's my part of the code. 
336-3663? Well, yeah, because... 2-3... Yeah, it's, uh... Oh, well, it's over half the puzzle, so yeah. that might be it. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. So it's three, 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 six, three. What if that corresponds to how many times we have to spin the screen and have the time be? What? Like, um, like, you know how when we spin the screen, the clock on the bus station changes its time and everything in the environment changes? Mm-hmm. So you want us to spin it three times to the right, that would be where the three is, but then what, what are you doing with the six? We can't go back. So it goes three, go three, six, three. And it's spun, I'm watching the video you just sent me. Yeah. And at the very end of it, it spins twice around to three o'clock. That is def that that's like a safe code. So, if I had, I mean, there might be something else in my post office if I had more information. And see, and that's the thing, is I have nothing else but post box number 28, northwest, west, southwest, east. Alright, so people are gonna get sick from the background spinning the way it is. <laughs> Just put a little disclaimer. Yeah. Okay, so let's see here. Let's go to three o'clock. Yeah, because as you spin it, you hear it clicking. Yeah. It's a three. That's a lot of spinning, though. Maybe that's wrong. That, yeah. You're at three now? Yeah, I'm at three o'clock now. I figure I should at least try to think up time. Yeah, that would work. Because I thought maybe that would be it, but now that I'm thinking about it, that is a lot of spinning. So I'm going to reread my paragraph um, that I have in the house and see if anything else jumps out at us now that all we've right. kind of gone through all the zones. All right, I'm going to go back so to the house then too and just walk. So I've been working on this iteration for one year now, in the study. I'd like you to keep it safe for me, Lark. Look after it really well, like you did with the two kittens you found in the pantry. Alright, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. So study, and you said pantry, that's in the kitchen. Yeah. Okay, keep so going. Maybe, maybe one study, uh, two pantry, and five dinner table. All right, read, read the whole paragraph again. All right. So I've been working on this iteration for one year now in the study. I'd like you to keep it safe for me, Lark. Look after it really well, like you did the two kittens you found in the pantry. In five years, when I've gained more knowledge, I'll come back and complete it. I'll be sitting by the dining table, her dining table, waiting for you. So, yeah. You would be uh, correct, then. One study, two pantry, five dining room. Yep, that's it. That opened up the door. Oh, good. Wow. Way to <laughs> overthink literally everything. Yeah, no shit, right? Uh, I'm keeping that code down, though, you gave of the pocket watch, because that's going to come in handy sooner or later, I bet. 
Yeah, probably. All right, what do you got now? Let's go down the stairs. Hopefully you have something with more direction. Oh, I have to scroll down to go down the stairs. I'm actually clicking on the steps. Yeah, I was doing that first. Aye. Okay, so in the basement, I have three paint brushes. Can mm -hmm. of black paint, can of white paint, don't do anything. Oh. <gasps> I got a box. And I can, I got a pot I can move around. I got a wooden, I don't know, oh. like, a, like a wooden barrel. Uh -huh. Ooh, and every time I click it, it starts breaking. I got two jars that I can move around. Those are on the right side of a box. Uh, so Alright, so I'm thinking the pot. Hold on. Uh, okay. on. Alright, the pot on the left side probably has to correspond to something to maybe match what? your side. What's the pot look like? It's short, round, and it's like a clay color. Yeah, where's it at? When I started, it was in front of the normal looking pot. Okay, and you moved it where? I did not move it yet. Okay. Where is it with you? Oh, you can click and drag it. Yeah. I was just clicking it before. Um, mine started off in front of the clay pot, I think. Hold on. That's where mine started reset. off. Because I started moving shit. That's actually a good idea. I think I'm going to reset mine. Okay. Just in case. Alright, I'm going back in the house. Okay. Everything's reset right. with mine. So where is your little slidey pot? My little slidey pot starting off in front of the big clay pot. Alright, we'll move it so that it's about half on the right support of that shelf. I can't see that now because I got a big barrel. Let me get rid of the barrel. And I have to click on it like ridiculous. Oh, I got a clock! Oh yeah, hey. Alright, so it goes noon, three, noon, 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 three, six. Do you want to do that one again? Hold on. Yes. Oh, well, it's got to restart itself. Alright, so it's 12, 3, 12, 12, 12, 3, 6. Cool. And then spins around. I don't think that has anything to do with it. Yeah, and it goes back to 12, and it starts over again. Alright, so I have your code, you have my code. And they are the same amount. So I don't think I have to move these pots or anything. No. We just needed that. Yeah, because I can move the pots and I can move the two jars to the right of it. Mm -hmm. Which those don't do anything. Alright, so... <sighs> There's that. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> anything in the... No, I don't think there's anything in there. Nothing in the Raven's clock has changed. So this has probably to do with the train puzzle. I'm assuming yours would probably... Oh no, I can't even say yours might be the first half, because mine was the first half last time. Yeah. But that's... it's over... Oh, wait. Yeah, well, mine is going to be, it has to be the second half, because I have no backtracking. So hold on. Oh, wait, no, 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 because 12 is up, Yeah. 3 is to the right. I'm... Okay, so I get what you're saying. All right, so uh, we are actually out of time right now, and we will complete this puzzle next time. How's that? That sounds good. All right, Let's so that's good. That. So we will see you guys later. Alright, later guys.